Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today I am outside Rudy's Kitchen. Yes, Rudy's Kitchen and technically a Chevron. Yes, guys, we are doing a food challenge in a gas station. So what are we eating? We're eating some delicious Mexican street food. So I'll stop you there. In a lot of places, eating Mexican cuisine or Mexican food from a gas station or eating food from a gas station may be seen as interesting. However, guys, Texas, Texas, and tacos, gas station tacos in Texas is a thing. And I think it's the best idea ever. So for this challenge today, I know we're gonna have, I believe it is 20 street tacos. We have five of their gorditas. They're very well known for their gorditas here. They do them like in a very special way. Um, they deep fry the corn, uh, like kind of mesa, like, you know, what the gordita, then they stuff it. Um, it looks really cool. Reminds me of almost like a, like a hot pocket kind of thing. I then have um, some of their tostadas. I think it's three or four tostadas. And I feel like I'm forgetting some. Oh, and a torta and a torta as well. So I know it is a 30 minute time limit to complete the challenge. The value is about $50. Um, if you fail, it is free if you complete it. So that's about that. I'm super excited to be having some delicious, yes, I love Mexican cuisine. It's one of my favorite cuisines. And Texas is really, really well known for both its authentic Mexican cuisine and its Tex-Mex Mexican cuisine. This is a more authentic Mexican cuisine. So with that, let's head in, let's have fun with these food. I'll get you some more details if there is any. And uh, that's about that. So yeah, like I said, gas station Mexican food challenge. I'm pumped, Mexican street food, let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here with all the food, it's definitely a lot. It looks so, so, so delicious though. So we have the Torta Cubanita. So this is like the uh, Torta Cubano. So we have ham on, we have ham, eggs, um, like a mayo, avocado, everything looks really awesome. I have the tostadas. So this is the first time I've ever had a tostada like this. This is a uh, tostada camarón, so it is shrimp, but it's like a shrimp cocktail on it. So it's actually like served cold. They have the avocado, looks really cool. Tostada is like crispy uh, fried uh, tortilla, basically. Um, the tacos, I have the uh, uh, bidia, I have the asada, we have El Pastor. I got barbacoa, I have some pollo, some cilantro, some onions, some lemon. We have their very special then gorditas, which I'm super excited about. I have a uh, beans and chorizo. I have a, a picadillo, which is kind of like a shepherd's pie, they said, never had it before. So it's like uh, papas and uh, ground meat, so potatoes. We then have a uh, El Pastor. And then I have two of the trezito, which is a uh, pork with a salsa verde. Uh, which sounds awesome. I love flavors, guys. Again, super, super cool that this place is in a gas station. I just can't get over that. I love that Texas and gas station tacos are a thing. So yeah, um, super excited. This place is always super, super busy. Um, they decided to do this on off hours for me because that was like a lineup. Uh, but yeah, excited. So I'm definitely pumped. Uh, they have a catering gig they're gonna get to here so they can also cater for you. So I'm gonna be quick, but also then have their salsas here. I got a Verde and a Roja, uh, which they make here. So super excited. So that will get started here just momentarily. Having this in front of me and smelling it is just like a wake up. It's like, ooh, that's just, it smells delicious. So where to get started? Um, I don't really know. I'm, I'll probably maybe get started with some of these tacos. Uh, we have these delicious looking tacos. Maybe I'll push these up just a little bit. And I have the, uh, the torta, I'll just put it right here for now. A lot of food, but looks also good. So I am definitely ready. Everybody at the restaurant is ready to rock. So how about we get started? How about these say at the count of, oof. Where to get started? I'll try, uh, let's try one of the chicken, the pollo. Pollo tacos. A little bit of salsa, maybe with the the verde. All right, I'm excited. How about we start to say count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mm. Okay. Very good. Actually, there's a little bit of heat to that. It's also very nice. Mm. All right, cilantro and onions going on the taco. Guys. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Rudy's Kitchen. Yes, Rudy's Kitchen in Frisco, Texas. So this is the Dallas, Texas area, or the DFW area as they call it, um, specifically north of Dallas. Um, and here we are at a gas station. Yes, tacos in a gas station. Texas tacos and gas stations goes. Yeah, a little bit of spice to that. Got some of the... Uh... Barbacoa here. They are just meant meant to be. You are, you know, obviously having Texas on that Mexican border, so you have the strong, obviously authentic Hispanic Mexican influences, which are awesome, both in the cuisine and the culture, which both are beautiful things. Talk about a tender beef. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Amazing. I have a pastor. Mm. Guys, that. Arbesa, barbacoa. Woo! I love it. So rich and beefy. Then, of course, you throw in a place like you have to stop at a gas station. So, what beauty is it that you can stop at a gas station? You have to stop it anyway and get delicious street food, like delicious tacos, tortas, um, you know, gorditas. Um, so, yeah. There's a flavor on that pastor like I've never had before. All of them are like bacon or something. Delicious. Try the salsa roja. Like you can tell, I'm pretty excited. I love this concept and I wish that it was, you know, a little more widespread. I mean, you know, across the country, across the world. So for this challenge, guys, definitely a lot of food. I already kind of walked you through it. So just very briefly, a whack of tacos, a whack of gorditas, a big torta, um, and some tostadas. This is actually pretty spicy. And the soda. Uh, I gotta say, the uh, quality of the meats and the flavors, there's some really nice flavors in all this. Um, the place is very, very busy. Uh, they are known for those flavors. Um, you know, as I get into the meats, I'll comment on them definitely some more. But that was just like, when it comes to authenticity, you know, they made the salsas, the season and cook all the meats. It really does make a difference and you could really tell um, you know I love this style of street food and you just can't beat it this is the Mexican food that I know the Mexican food that I love and uh, Rudy's definitely had a good uh, palette of good you know profile and a spread available I'm dripping there we go. Uh, so again, we did have about 30 minutes to complete the challenge. Value is about $50. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, if we were going to complete, we get the meal for free. Uh, again, hilarious backdrop being in a gas station, guys. But hey, it was oh so cool. Uh, I'll give a huge shout out to the staff as well. Uh, family operated, owned business. They were awesome. In addition to like, you know, these more kind of standard, we'll say street items, they also had like breakfast, um, some breakfast items, and yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. So that's pretty much the majority of the information. Just, I mean, and I know like, well, how we ended up with this, uh, you know, not be having a huge line, a huge weight, they're doing a catering job and they were able to fit me in before the catering. So they definitely also will cater your events and uh, they actually mentioned they do, um, I don't know the exact name for it, but it's something I've seen in, in Mexico where you can like hire them and they'll come with all the different meats, all the different tacos, and they'll basically be a portable taco stand. So they'll make you tacos per order at your party and stuff. So I thought that was all super cool because again, I haven't really seen that in much of the world. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, let me know your favorite kind of taco down below. Uh, mine. 99% of the time, especially today, um, was is like a, a barbacoa or cerveza, um, like basically head or cheek or you know whatever. Guys, just so nice, so rich, so fatty, just oh so delicious, guys. Um, but that's about that. So with that, I'll let you to the rest of the video. And that beer, oh my gosh, so rich. I love it. I'll put a little lime on here for all those taco lovers out there. Little Amon. Beautiful flavors though.
got another asada here. There's actually some grilled onions in the asada already. And it's awesome. And that El Paso is fire. Alright, the fantastic tacos. I gotta say, definitely the salsa got a bit of heat to them, a lot more than I was anticipating, a lot more than your normal salsa roja or verde, but it is perfect. I absolutely love the flavors. I actually really enjoy there's a little bit more spice. And then we have the uh, torta, we have all the tostadas, excuse me, compliments to the chef, and we have the gorditas, excuse me, which I'm super pumped to get to because these look awesome. I love the way, it's almost like a, I don't know, like a hot pocket in a way, like a pat, like just awesome. I'll probably, uh, I don't know. I can't wait to try these. I'll go with the torta first and we're going to get to these and then tostadas. Tostadas are already like, you know, cooled off, so, okay, all right, but yeah, this looks delicious itself. Lots of different sauces and everything on here. Rock and roll, do you enjoy a torta? jalapenos and avocado mm. Mm. it tastes so fresh that, that like just that like saltiness of those meats Really nice bread. Mm. And the jalapeno, great addition, nice kick. This is just the favorite torta. I see why. Great flavor. Really enjoyable, actually. That bread is delicious. Where do you guys get the breads from? A special, yeah, a special. Mm. Specialty made bread. They do a good job. It is really good. Alrighty guys, gorditas, tostadas. These are packed, but these look awesome. I'm super pumped to get into that. Fried, delicious. Can I bother one of you? Would somebody just fill that up with uh, like Diet Coke there? Or, Diet Coke. Yeah, that works. Thanks so much. All right, let's rock and roll. I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna start with this one here. This is the one that they said was kind of like shepherd's pie. So it's ground beef, potatoes, some vegetables. Thank you, my friend, appreciate that. So it gives a rock and roll. Mm. Ooh, that crunch. Mm. Really like rich. I love how warm it is. It's oddly comforting. I dig it. So there's a salsa. Oh yeah. Great addition. This is the marinated pork with the green salsa. Looks really, really delicious. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. 
That salsa verde adds just a beautiful acidity. Really nice, rich pork flavor. And this is the Trezito. What oh, yeah. A lot of meat in here, too. It's absolutely stuffed. And then I also have the, I believe it was the uh, barbacoa there, and then I have the uh, beans and the, or the uh, beans and chorizo. I'll save that one. They said they are known for their beans. They are proud of their beans. Rudy, the main chef, that was one of his favorites. He judges a restaurant based on their beans. So I'm really excited to try his. I also enjoy a good refried beans. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Wow, that savory beef, woo. That bite I had was just money, melt in your mouth. Wow. Trezo and beans. Really nice seasonings in that. Beans are a great texture. And last but not least, tostadas. Whew. I'm full. A lot of food. But man, it's just good. And everything has just been like, honestly, delicious on delicious. Tell you what though, a couple of those tacos are one of those gorditas gonna fill you up. They are filling. Really, really nice. All right, give this a go. This be crisp, fresh, and they do put a mayonnaise on this as well. Mm. Mm. They got like the clamato in there, so it's that like acidity. That mayonnaise definitely adds a real like richness to that bite as well. I've never had the cocktail, shrimp cocktail with mayonnaise before. It's good. The mayonnaise really dulls that acidity of that cocktail. Got my nose running. All that spice. Last but not least. I've used my hands the whole time, so I might as well finish. Mm -hmm. All right. And at that, we are finished. Probably about uh, just shy of, let's say 23 minutes, I think. Gas station tacos and Mexican cuisine. Should be a thing everywhere. It's popular in Texas, but it should be everywhere, guys. And the fact that you can come on in and get yourself some really good tacos and other, excuse me, other kind of street foods, it just makes sense. Like, it, and, and honestly, kind of gives you an excuse to like, well, I'm here anyway, I might as well grab some lunch. So that was really delicious, guys. Um, thank you, guys. I really appreciate that. Thank you to the staff here. 
they've been super accommodating, super, super friendly. Uh, this place is normally very, very, very busy. So be able to do this on an off hour was very, very necessary. Um, I really enjoyed everything I had. I think my absolute favorites today when it came to the uh, meats was probably the Al Pastor. I don't think I've normally had like a bit of a Chipotle in the Al Pastor or the way this one tasted it was just absolutely fantastic. This is one of the favorites. I definitely see why. The uh, Cerveza or like the, uh, you know, kind of like the barbacoa, etc. That like stewed beef was absolutely delicious. The video was really nice as well. I love both of those. I love that rich beefy flavor. You know what I'm saying? Me and cows. Cows are delicious. And I gotta say, they definitely do it well. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. So yeah, pretty much that. So that'd be a good meal for you. It's pretty cool. The $50-ish meal. Um, and I got no complaints. So till next time, everybody, definitely stop um, by when you are in Frisco, Frisco area. Again, this is technically, I believe, considered old downtown Frisco, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, very pleasant area. And uh, I got no complaints. This has been very enjoyable. I'm definitely going to bite this lime. Cleanse that palate a little bit. There is some delicious but succulent rich items here, and they are filling and satiating. Like I said, no one needs to eat this much food. Don't even attempt to. I, I did it so you don't have to. Uh, but like I said, guys, really cool spot. And until um, next time, stay happy out the hungry, happy eating them. Have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.